You're looking at a time-lapse video recorded by the Library of Congress showing the process of constructing the exhibition Jacob Rees, revealing how the other half lives. Next, on American History TV's American Artifacts, we visit the exhibit in the library's Thomas Jefferson Building to learn about the life of the Danish-born journalist, social reformer, and photographer. My name is Bonnie Jokelsen, and I wrote the complete collection catalog of Reese's photographs that was published on the occasion of this exhibition. And um, my engagement with the collection started in the 1980s when I was curator of prints and photographs at the Museum of the City of New York, which owns Reese's New York photographs. There's a great paradox to Reese's photographs, which is that he was a journalist, and he was a celebrity, and he saved all of the documentation of his career. He wanted to be remembered for posterity. He created scrapbooks. He saved his manuscripts, every scrap of paper. And he abandoned his photographs because he didn't even think they were of any value apart from his words, apart from his arguments and his articles and his publications. And uh, the way they were discovered is a really fascinating story. Um, there was a photographer, Reese died in 1914. Um, in 1940s, a photographer named Alexander Land uh, noticed in Reese's book, uh, How the Other Half Lives, that on the title page it says, um, with illustrations after photographs by the author. And so he said to himself, well, where are these photographs? And uh, after several years of searching, he tracked down Reese's son. and with much coercing, um, it got Reese's son to try to find the pictures, which turned out to be in the attic of the family's home in Queens, New York, that was about to be torn down. So his son discovered a box filled with 400 odd negatives, 300 odd lantern slides, and almost 200 paper prints, and delivered them to Alexander Aland, the photographer, who, again, taking a couple of years, um, created an exhibition of, from the negatives, making beautiful prints, modern prints from the negatives, uh, and working with the curator at the Museum of the City of New York to put on an exhibition called Battle with the Slum, named for one of Reese's books, in which these beautiful enlarged pictures, along with excerpts from Reese's writings, established Reese as an important photographer, and that's how he entered the history of photography. Again, the paradox about Reese is that he himself said that he was a photographer after a fashion. In other words, that he wasn't a real photographer. Um, he used the camera for very few years, um, less than 10 years, and he only took about 300 pictures, about a third of which were like family snapshots and, you know, of other things that. Uh, are not what we not of historic importance. Um, the most his most famous picture today is Bandit's Roost, which shows a couple of toughs, uh, Italian toughs wearing um, bowler hats. In fact, that picture was sort of copied um, by Martin Scorsese in um, in a, in a movie um, The Gangs of New York. So it's a kind of iconic image. When he first had the idea to use photographs to illustrate the slums, and that was in 1887. He uh, reached out to a friend who was a photographer, and he found two f photographers who wanted to, who were interested in flash. Flash photography was the reason he uh, had the idea to even use photographs at all. He had, was a writer, he was a journalist, he was writing in a daily newspaper about the conditions in the slum. He read in the newspaper in 1887 that there was um, this new invention of flash powder that could illuminate the darkness, and he said, aha. So he worked with these two other photographers who were uh, serious amateurs who were interested in flash. They were interested in the technology. And among their photographs is Bandit's Roost, um, which was actually taken with a stereo graphic stereoscopic camera, which has two lenses. Um, so there are actually two images of Van der Sroos, but it's the right side, which has those two tufts and the bowlers. That's the famous image. The exhibition Jacob Rees, Revealing How the Other Half Lives, can be viewed online at the Library of Congress website, 
loc.gov.